Hello, thank you for joining me. Today, I'm at one of the newest railway stations in Britain. This is Kenilworth in Warwickshire. This station, it opened on the 30th of April, 2018. So it's over a year old now, but it still has that very kind of new feeling. It's not the original. There was originally a railway station here, opened by the London and Birmingham Railway in 1848. That station was then rebuilt in 1884 and it eventually closed in 1865 so from then on the town of Kenilworth hasn't had a railway station but it has had a railway traveling through it so the railway never ever closed and there's always been trains originally they were intercity cross country then it was virgin cross country now it's just cross country traveling through here providing service from places like Bournemouth and Reading up to Newcastle and Manchester now there's a service provided by West Midlands Railway who run a train from Coventry or it started it was Coventry to Leamington Spa now they're running it all the way through to Nuneaton so Leamington Spa is the next station that way where you can connect for Chiltern Railways trains and then it goes that way towards Coventry and it also calls it the new stations Bermuda Park and Coventry Arena which are not as new as this but newish and I still haven't been to them so I should go and visit them I have done the line but not actually been to the station so today I finally got round to visiting this railway station. I've been watching a couple of times I've been driving down. You don't really get much of a view from the train when you're passing through on a train, but if I'd ever been driving this way, I'd call in and have a look, see what was going on with the site. Now, the first time I came here to see that, the site had been earmarked for the station, and there was this public footpath that still runs across here, over that footbridge. So I went on that and you could see it was just single track and nothing was here, and then, the next time I came, the bridge was closed and they were building, started to build the station. What they've done now, it's rather amusing, there's actually two footbridges. So you've got this one with lifts and then you've got that one. Now my thought is, let's go over and we'll I'll tell you what my thought is. My thought is if they ever one day double track this line, because it's not a double track line, it is only single track, but it's got a couple of passing loops. So there's one outside of Leamington Spa that way and there is another one the other side of the station so because it's also quite busy you get quite a lot of container trains going through here as well as the cross country trains which don't stop so we're now over the bridge it is quite high but you can just see over so my thought is the reason they've provided two foot bridges so this is the new one and that's the original one is if they ever put a second platform in and they wanted to put ticket barriers in the locals can't complain that they've cut off a route. So I think that, and also it is for the, to provide step-free access. But if it had been purely a station bridge, they probably wouldn't have kept that one. So that is my fault. So I think one day in the future, we'll come down here and this will be platform two. So we're standing on where the, yeah, so the track will be there and this will be platform two. If you have a look at the signal up there, the colour light signal, above is a feather now the reason for that feather is because that the passing loop is just up there a quarter of a mile or so so that is to tell drivers if they which whether they're going to the left or right or up or down line let's have a quick wander around here so we're now kind of down at the end of the station there are lifts but what i thought i'd do i appreciate it's getting a bit windy i'm going to now take you back over the other footbridge and then we're going to have a look in the ticket office I always think about this is the fact that this was a station a town of 22,000 people that had a railway running through it and no railway station it sort of seems a bit daft so I'm glad eventually they finally done the right thing and provided the people Kenilworth with a station it wasn't very annoying having trains pass through couldn't access my thoughts are if in the future they do put a second platform if they ever want to put ticket barriers there'll probably be one of those funny sort of half glass half metal shelters here and there'll be a set of three about there and then that footbridge could stay outside the ticket barriers but I hope they don't ever actually go to putting ticket barriers in because I always think ticket barriers you know they're all right on metro services but places like this don't need to have them it just um, makes life harder for railway enthusiasts and people who want to wave people off so we're now going over the older footbridge the newer footbridge is behind us get quite a good view of the station building here which is what we'll have a look in next but this bridge actually takes us out of the station because it isn't part of the station, it's a public right of way. So technically the other footbridge over there 
isn't the public right way so that's why as I said we've got two foot bridges very close when I finish this video I'm gonna head into town and visit Kenilworth Castle so watch out there will be a video from Kenilworth Castle haven't been there since I was very small so I'm really looking forward to revisiting Kenilworth Castle and one of the reasons why I've waited so long to revisit Kenilworth Castle is because I've waited for them to build a railway station I mean, yes okay, I've had over a year to do it but I've only finally got around to doing it today so I'm really pleased to be here so they've put this new turning circle in for buses so buses can stop here they've obviously altered the bus route which you know makes sense there's no point dropping people off on the bus on one side of the town and then got to walk across you know walk half a mile or so to the railway station so this is the new station building it's actually built to be reminiscent of the original or not necessarily the original but one of the older station buildings on the site so what we'll do we'll go and have a look inside um i just noticed something i think there's a plaque So there's a plaque there to say when the station opens. So we're now going into the, that's the ticket office stroke cafe. There's a lot of places to sit, which I think is really nice. Interestingly, I said the station opened, this station, the modern one, opened on the 30th of April 2018, and that's what that plaque says. But the other one says in July, so when did it open? Anyone knows, comment and tell me, please. There is a picture of the older station building, so you can see how they've gone to make this station look like the original, which I think is quite a nice thing to do. There's an old British Rail sign. There's even some stained glass windows, which I think is another nice little touch. It's, it's nice. I like how they have gone to the trouble to create a more traditional style station. It's up to press a button to open the doors. I like how they've gone to create a traditional style station at, um, you know, in a modern way rather than just build a station, you know, that's just a box really. It has a bit of character. There's also a way out here. That's a rather amusing look. It's platform one. All trains depart from platform one. The reason for that is because there is only platform one, so it's just the platform. We're going to go back up here where we um, started the video. It's a bit of a shame. I was hoping that a train might come through, but it doesn't look like we're going to see a train and it's getting windy. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this video here. So from one of the newest railway stations in Britain, Britain Kenilworth in Warwickshire. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.